Welcome back to today. Well, Christmas is just around the corner, and to help make the festive season special for those less fortunate, the Salvos, the Salvation Army, that is, they need your help to collect half a million gifts through the Kmart wishing tree, Lisa. That's right, Ben. And Major Bruce Harmer from the Salvation Army joins us now with more. Good morning to you, Major Bruce. Good morning. Christmas can be a very tough time. We, we look around and we see happy faces and smiling children and all of that, but for quite a lot of Australians, they're, they're doing it really tough and this is such an important cause. Absolutely. The Kmart wishing tree is a wonderful way that we can, uh, I guess, make a difference to so many families that are doing it tough at Christmas. And you, you just went out yesterday and bought 50 bucks worth of stuff from Kmart, which you've put under the tree here yourself, yourself and your wife. This is $3. I mean, it just goes to show how much fun can be had with a few dollars. That's right. We went to Kmart and we found the prices very reasonable. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're running a little bit behind this year. We're about 4% behind with our gifts. Uh, so, uh, so we bought enough gifts there for about eight people uh, for $50. And, uh, and we'll be uh, quite excited to put that under the Kmart wishing tree tonight. So just remind everyone how it works. Uh, the, uh, you you uh, purchase a gift and place it under the Kmart wishing tree. You don't need to purchase that gift from Kmart. You can just bring in a gift yourself yep. and place it there. The Salvation Army personnel will pick those up and then we go back and uh, we've maybe gone through an assessment process with um, the people who need support. Sure. And, um, and based on that assessment, we'll, um, we'll provide the gifts and maybe a hamper for their Christmas. So do you match up the gift with the, the age and the sex of the child involved? That's right, yeah. We do encourage people not to wrap the gifts. Some, some folk want to wrap them, and that's wonderful if, if maybe they're sharing that experience with their children. Mm. Um, but we will unwrap all the gifts um, to make sure that they're age-appropriate and gender-appropriate. Um, and then uh, make sure that the kids have a great Christmas. And it's yeah. not just the kids that this makes a huge difference for. It's also the parents of those kids or the carers of those kids who can be really stressing at this time of year when they're watching on the TV all of these mm. references to Christmas yeah. and the kind of toys that are out there, and they know in their heart of hearts they're not in a position to provide it. It's a big help to those parents or carers. Absolutely. That's, I guess, the, the hidden gift, uh, being able to, uh, to um, help those parents provide for their kids. Uh, so many times I've seen people come into us uh, for the initial assessment uh, with a hopeless look on their face, really wondering how they're going to get through Christmas. And then to see them come back and pick up the gifts and the hampers uh, and uh, watch them walk out the door with a smile as, uh, as big as anything, yeah. it's just terrific to, uh, to know that we've helped them provide for their kids. I want to recommend this one, Lisa. Can I show you something? Can you take your shoe off for one second or is that too much? No, I can take because your shoe Because these double, they're three bucks, right? Not only are they great to kick around the house because they don't smash too many things, but you roll your foot over that. Roll your foot over that, oh, and it becomes a <gasps> see. It becomes a foot oh, massager. It does too. Yeah, see, it's Love three bucks. It. Who knows? That might go up in price now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Major. Thank you. Good on you. Thank and uh, you. check it out under the Kmart wishing tree. Up next, Julie. Good.